Good morning from Ortex. Today is Friday, July 22nd, and these are your data highlights. Snap stock tanked by 27% yesterday evening after reporting disappointing second quarter results and offering pessimistic commentary. Top line growth decelerated significantly as advertisers pulled back spending in the face of macroeconomic headwinds, and the Snapchat parent missed consensus estimates for both top and bottom lines. In a letter to shareholders, management conceded that the quarter was more challenging than expected and that the company was not satisfied with its results. Snap's board has also authorized a repurchase program of $500 million, but the buybacks are unlikely to be accretive since the company says the primary purpose is to offset some, but not all, of dilution associated with stock-based compensation. Analysts have tweaked their expectations in the wake of the report, with many analysts downgrading their recommendations from a buy to a hold, and multiple target price reductions. It's safe to say that the Faraday future short squeeze is in the rearview mirror, as the stock has been in free fall all week long. Shares plunged by 27% yesterday alone, following double-digit percentage losses every single day this week thus far. As of Thursday's close, the stock had now shed 55% of its value since last Friday. However, the rally that started at the beginning of July was not driven by any major fundamental catalyst, and the Faraday future is still trading at higher levels than at the end of June. The volatility is likely attributable to retail traders that pursue short squeeze strategies, as the company's operational challenges have attracted considerable short interest, which in turn draws in squeeze traders. Short interest is now 27.4 million shares, or 29.6% of free float. Make sure to subscribe and come back every weekday for interesting data highlights from Ortex.